Hey guys, uh, Saturday, March 30th, Bitcoin's at 70K. In this episode, I just want to focus on the mystery of Bitcoin addresses. Um, you know, there's been this paper by Giovanni, which says that, you know, Bitcoin addresses are growing at T to the cube and that this sort of feeds into Metcalf via T to the cube, T to the six. I haven't looked at that data, so I'm not going to criticize it, but I did start looking at active 30 day, um, Bitcoin addresses. Okay. So which addresses have been active in the last 30 days? Okay. And I found some pretty remarkable, uh, data. So I want to, I want to go over that with you guys. Um, so let me look at the active addresses. Okay. So this is, this is how many addresses have been active in the last 30 days. Now, as Dylan and others have pointed out, you can have lots of addresses, <laughs> but these are addresses that have actually been active in the last 30 days. So these are active addresses that have done something in the last 30 days. A lot of these things are going to be just addresses that have bought Bitcoin for the very first time in the last 30 days, right? Um, but some of them are going to be addresses that have been used to transfer Bitcoin to another address, right? So let's look at this graph, and it's really amazing. You sort of see this amazing sort of exponential growth curve here, right? And it peaks exactly here on Friday, December 1st, 2017, it peaks at 21,600,000. And then it completely crashes, right, to half of its value, 11 million here. Slowly builds back up to 21 million, and exactly at the peak of the market uh, on January 1st, 2021, and it crashes. Now, it crashes, the actual Bitcoin price does not, it goes back up. Right. But then we have never really gone back up in terms of active Bitcoin addresses. This is really kind of a mystery to me. You know, why has Bitcoin addresses, first of all, why were they so consistently going up? And why has this model kind of completely failed? So this thing feels like a model that you can really model. And then after here, just feels like it's broken. So I just want to focus on this phase here and just show you what that looks like. Um, so if I go here, I've actually modeled that out. I just put the, the dates here, the um, number of Bitcoin addresses here, and I transferred it over to log log space. And lo and behold, we have this amazing fit, right? Um, of log addresses to the model. And actually it's almost a 99% R squared fit. And it goes, it looks like it's a power of 4.69 with an intercept of three, right? Um, so the log is equal to 2.99 times 4.69 log T. Uh, and you can kind of see, I did not make a mistake. I'm using the um, column J4 as the power here, right? And the power here is there. So it, it does look like I might have sort of swapped these two things, but I didn't. These are is actually correct. And here's what it looks like kind of on the on the sort of uh, non-log model. And it looks like, as you can see, the model is sort of underperforming. The model, the actual data is underperforming the model here at the end. And so it's, it's you know, it's not quite accurate, but it, in log space, it's really super accurate. So we have this model that again is incredibly accurate for this particular part, right? And becomes completely inaccurate afterwards, right? So it really does appear that a lot of these addresses were just completely voided very much in it quickly. They were just emptied out very quickly. Um, I don't understand this exactly. Uh, I would like to understand it better. I don't understand it. Um, I definitely think that the fact that the number of these active addresses is not going up much uh, can mean can be explained by a couple things potentially, right? It could be explained by certainly for non-first-time buying. It could be explained by lightning, 
Uh, that would be really the only explanation or potentially people using Coinbase to transfer it to other Coinbase wallets, directly wallet to wallet, right? Um, so not doing it on chain. Uh, it could be using Strike, but somehow I don't completely believe that. Um, it can also be that there's an increased um, increased number of users who are not using on-chain and who are using exchanges, right? So in particular, Binance really got going in 2017. Uh, you know, Coinbase has, has, has grown quite a bit since 2018, right? So a lot of people are, are probably buying on Binance and Coinbase and not buying and not moving their coins to the to kind of the chain. But I just wanted to point this out and let people show. This is this is concerning to me. I would I would like to see this graph just keep on going up uh, to the right. Um, I don't know what to make of it, and I'll just leave it there. Uh, and that will that was episode sixty five. I hope you guys got something out of it.